guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on a product that is absolutely a staple in my makeup routine. And if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Hopefully you can see it. The cover is plastic, so there's probably a glare on it. But I'm really excited to start talking about it, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And of course, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So starting off, I bought this from Target and I paid about $3.99 for it, which in my opinion is an absolutely amazing price because me being the very frugal person that I am, I like to buy products that make me feel good about myself, but I don't want to have to spend a lot of money to try to do it. I mean, who does? I'm actually sure that there are a lot of women who would like to spend a lot of money to try to look good, but I'm not really one of them. There are a ton of drugstore pressed powders, loose powders, different kinds of powders, every kind of powder that you could imagine that are really expensive. We're talking like three times as much as this costs. So when I came across this and I saw how cheap it was and the fact that I really love it, it's an automatic win in my book. The shade that I wear is Sandstorm, number 004, and it is the second lightest shade. Uh, on their website, it says that they have seven different shades, so I'm going to put the link to it in the description below because they have this really cool thing on there where you can upload your picture and you can try on all the different shades to find out which one is the best for you. I'm not really sure how accurate it is. Sometimes those online things can be a bit off with their shades, but for the most part, I think that it should give you a general idea about what shade would be closest to your skin tone so that before you go to the store you can figure out which one you might want to buy. Sandstorm being the second lightest shade is usually the one that I like to wear in the summer when I'm out in the sun more and I'm getting a little bit more tan. It's really the perfect shade for my skin tone in the summer, but in the winter I usually go with the lightest shade which is called transparent. It's not the same as a translucent powder, it's not white, it has a little bit of color to it, but I'm a pretty pale person in the winter so it's also perfect for my skin tone then. So this pressed powder is supposed to do two things. One is to give you five hours of natural shine protection and I think they might be underestimating themselves a little bit because for me it usually gives me about seven hours of shine protection if I put my makeup on right in the morning I usually notice by about five or six o'clock that I start to get a little bit shiny but it's not really that big of a deal for me because if I was gonna go out I could just reapply it but because I live such an exciting life I'm usually ready to take my makeup off by about that time so it's pretty perfect. The second thing that this is supposed to do is to minimize the appearance of pores and I would also say that it does that really well. I am the kind of person that has larger more visible pores and it's always been something that I've been really self-conscious about because I feel like if I can see them then everyone else can see them too but when I use this I feel like I can't see them as much and me being my own worst critic I mean we all are I feel like if I can't see them as much then other people can't see them as much either so if you're the kind of person Person like me who doesn't really like the look of their pores then definitely give this a try and you might really like it another thing that I really love about this is that it gives my face a really nice finish right after I put my foundation and my concealer on I put this over top of it and it helps my skin to look really flawless if I were to pick out something about this that I don't necessarily like I guess it would be the packaging the lids on these powders are a little bit loose not this one necessarily I think they might have made some improvements on it but the very first one that I had was so loose that every time I picked it up I felt like I was gonna break it so if you go to pick it up make sure you pick it up by the whole thing and not just the lid because if you pick it up by just the lid the bottom could fall out and it could slam against the sink or wherever you put your makeup on and break and nobody wants that to happen so it's really not a deal breaker it's just something to be aware of so guys that's gonna be it for this review but of course I would definitely recommend that you go out and buy this it's a great powder and it's inexpensive so you really can't go wrong right all the links to my social media accounts will be in the description below and on my main channel page so if you wanted to follow me on any of those you could do that but other than that I hope that you guys have a spectacular day and I will see you in my next video whoa it's like amazing how quickly your train of thought just gone what is that oh it's a bird <laughs> the distractions are just everywhere <laughs>